I think as we all know, children are absolute balls of energy. They're always on the go, they're full of energy. And that's great, but sometimes they need to calm down. Sometimes that fact that they're kind of so busy and running around and full of all this energy means that they find it very difficult to concentrate and to focus on schoolwork, for example, and also um, to get off to sleep at night. That can be a real problem for children. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is how to use some very simple qigong and show it to your children um, in order to help them to calm their minds when they need to. And kids absolutely love qigong, they think it's magic because they can feel the qi in their fingers, they can feel it kind of buzzing around the place, so they think it's really cool. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. My name is Janice Tucker and I'm a practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine and medical qigong. I'm also the founder of the Space to Relax program of Qigong Video Lessons. And just before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, then hit the red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future health enhancing videos with Qigong tips for you. So why would we bother teaching Qigong to children? There are two main areas of benefit really as I see it and the first one would be kind of more on the physical level. So the movements that are practiced in Qigong, even though they're very simple, will actually help children to improve their flexibility, their coordination, their balance, their strength and really help to develop their bodies but in a gentle way as they're growing. Qigong movements can also help to develop stamina, muscle tone and agility in children as well. So it's really good in a way because as they become more physically confident, they can become more confident in themselves. The second way in which Qigong can really help children is working with the more meditative and breathing aspects of Qigong, which are really important for helping to reduce anxiety and worry, to ease tension, to improve focus and concentration at school, for example, um, and also to help with kind of just general clarity of mind. So what I'm going to show you today are two Qigong methods that can help children. The first one kind of based on movement and the second one based on meditation to give you those benefits or to give your children the benefits that I just described. So the first one is a movement based exercise. And what you can do is you do it with your kids and show them how to do it. And all you do, and you can do it from standing or sitting, is just hold the hands out at shoulder level like this. Okay, get them to keep the elbows straight and to keep the arms up and not let them drop. And then what they need to do is ask them to open and close the fists like this. So spread the fingers really wide and then close and make a really clenched fist. So lots of tension, keeping the shoulders nice and tense, the elbows tense, the whole arms tense and then speed it up. So then get them to go as fast as they can. So they have great fun with this, go as fast as they can for as long as they can. And you'll find yourself, if you're doing this with me now, and I would encourage you to, that you'll feel your forearms starting to burn. It really, really starts to hurt and it's kind of difficult to keep going. Okay, so then slow it down and then just let the hands drop down by your sides. And then just close your eyes and focus on your fingers, on your hands, and see what you feel, observe what you feel. So. What most people feel is some kind of tingling or buzzing or warmth. You might also feel like your hands feel bigger, like they're swollen, your fingers feel like sausages. Because what that movement has done is it's encouraged the flow of chi and blood into your hands. So you're feeling that now in your hands. So kids love this, they think this is just magic. They're like, where did all this come from? It's really good. So. The next thing they can do with a little bit of movement is then ask them just to hold the hands up and just have the palms facing each other. Now they can do it in this position with the hands in front of the chest or they can do it with the hands dropped down in front of the hips and they might find it's easier with the hands dropped down in front of the hips but I'll keep my hands in the shot of the video here so you can see what we're doing. So then ask them just to close their eyes and just focus on the palms of the hands and the space between the palms of the hands. So do this with me now as well. So focusing on that space and again noticing 
anything that you feel in between the hands or in the palms of the hands themselves. And then just ask them to gently move the palms towards each other and then pull them apart. Keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed now. Keeping the elbows and the wrists very relaxed. And just move the hands in and out. And what most kids would notice for sure is almost like there's some kind of magnetic attraction between the hands. They feel like maybe they're pulling an elastic band um, apart, away from each other, as the hands move away from each other and then allowing that elastic band to come back to normal as the hands come towards each other. So there's some kind of resistance there. So this is a really nice thing to show children because it demonstrates the flow of chi between the hands as well as into the hands, which you did with the open and closing of the fists earlier. Okay, and then just bringing both hands together, one on top of the other, just placing them on the belly and relaxing. So that's the movement exercise. And I think you'll agree, most kids would find that quite interesting to feel what's going on in between their hands. The second thing you can do is use the more meditative aspects of Qigong in order to teach children to calm the mind and improve the focus and clarity and reduce their worry and anxiety. So we can do this by teaching them abdominal breathing. And the way in which I teach kids abdominal breathing is to make it a little bit more fun. So I'll ask them to lie on the floor or lie on a bed if you're teaching your own kids. Ask them to then place one hand just flat on their belly below the belly button. Ask them then to close their eyes and close their mouth. And they're going to breathe in and out through the nose. And what they want to imagine is a balloon, blowing up a balloon. So as they breathe in, they're breathing into the lower belly area and then feeling the hand rise up towards the ceiling. As they breathe out, the belly shrinks, falls back down towards the bed or the floor and the hand sinks down. So kids kind of like the idea of being able to move the hand up and down by using their belly. And this is abdominal breathing. This is what they're actually doing. And so they find that that's quite useful for them. They feel usually much calmer after doing this just for a few minutes. So once they get the hang of it and they, you know, they kind of realize that it can help them feel a lot calmer and a bit more focused, then they tend to practice it all the time. So that's a great exercise to show them. And uh, I would encourage you to, if you've got kids, all of you, show your kids how to do abdominal breathing because that's a real, really useful tool that they can use for the rest of their lives. So if you'd like to know how to take this a little bit further and do even more with your kids, because it's a great family activity to practice Qigong, then head over to my homepage, which is spacetorelax.com. And there you'll see that you can sign up for a free three-part video series. And lesson one in that series is actually abdominal breathing. So you could do that along with your kids. And then there's a couple of other really nice lessons that I think they would like, especially lesson three, which is a, a discharging one, but they use this we use this vibrating method, which kids think is great fun too. So from there, if you want to then take things a little further, you'll be sent emails from me about joining the Space to Relax paid membership program. And what that is, is a series of 50 video lessons, one delivered each week, and it's a whole health management program. So it's not just looking at using Qigong to improve your energy levels and to calm your mind, but also addressing specific health problems. And a lot of people who have signed up for this would be in the group, but they would show it to their children as well and they would do some of the exercises with their kids. So they find it a really nice kind of almost like a bonding activity to do together. Um, so that might be a nice thing for you if you want to take things a step further. The second thing you can do is to join my free Facebook group, which is called Space to Relax Free Qigong Group. And once you've joined, you'll see that I post lots of interesting articles on Qigong, meditation, mindfulness, and lots of kind of health enhancing tips for you. But also you can ask me any questions in that group. I'm in there most days, so I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. 
And the third thing you can do is don't forget if you're on YouTube to head over there um, or head over there and subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button so then you don't miss any future videos that I publish. Thank you so much for watching and for those of you who do try those exercises with your kids, please leave a comment in the comments box and let me know what you thought of them, how easy was it to teach them to your children and what did your kids think of doing the exercises? Did they find that Qigong was a little bit of magic. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.